News 5 at 5 continues now. There were 251 bombing incidents that happened across the country in 2019. That's according to the ATF. Here in Northeast Ohio, the ATF and the FBI are joining forces to educate first responders about explosives and bombs. News 5's Tracy Carlos was there to see how lessons that went up in smoke could end up saving lives. One after another. Police officers from about a dozen law enforcement departments got an up-close look at explosives, the smoke, fire, explosion. First responders are among those getting a lesson in explosives at the Summit County Sheriff's Office Training Bureau. They're out there every day. They're seeing this stuff firsthand. Um, they're the ones that are going to call us. They're going to come across it first. And the more they know on the dangers of the explosives and what can happen, the safer they are, the safer they can keep the, the people in their community. The ATF and FBI joining forces to teach a basic post-blast course designed to teach police how to help put the pieces back together after the bomb goes off. Sights, smells, sounds, all of those things matter to us as investigators and as bomb technicians. They help us determine whether or not it was a high explosive or a low explosive, whether or not it may have been confined or how it might have otherwise been initiated. Today, uh, we walk them through the scenes. About 10 different types of explosives were detonated for an explosive lesson. From a low explosive, which would be like a black powder type device, all the way up to a high explosive like military uh, composition 4, C4 explosives. First responders can also be the first line of defense in stopping a bombing before it happens. And knowing what to look for is key. They used to have the shake and pop lab, meth, meth labs uh, in Akron were, were pretty regular. Uh, and most some of the stuff is manufactured almost the exact same way. The items look very similar. Today is the first day of the week long classes aimed at teaching police officers what could be life saving lessons. In Summit County, Tracy Carlos, News 5.